YouTube, it's Christopher. I got a sick one for you today. This here is a Kiesel LM6. This is a Lee McKinney signature model. Uh, it's a headless guitar. It's a Kiesel USA made. This thing is nasty. I wish I could tell you uh, what this finish option would be called for you to order it correctly, but uh, I really don't know. I bought this guitar secondhand. I did not buy it from Kiesel. I bought it used. I got it off of eBay uh, from a gentleman out in California. And I bought it because his price was very reasonable for this guitar, and it is absolutely dead mint. Uh, it's got a walnut single piece neck. Of course, all Kiesel guitars come with dual uh, graphite rods inside. Uh, is it graphite? Why do I do this all the time? It's carbon fiber. For some reason, I always confuse graphite and carbon fiber. There's two carbon fiber rods inside the neck with a dual acting truss rod. It's got the fen uh, fender, yeah. It's got the Kiesel headstock or head stop, head piece, whatever you want to call it. Um, it's got his uh, uh, Graph Tech nut, I think. I think. <laughs> You'd think I'd get my shit together before I started a video. It's got the green inlays offset. It's got glow in the dark lumen lay side dots. It's got this awesome finish that I believe is called the Kiesel Racing Green. Uh, so that's a KRG green burst with a California burst to a <laughs> flame charcoal color underneath. It's absolutely stunning in real, in real life. This video isn't doing it no justice whatsoever. I put on these really cool uh, green accessory pieces on the uh, volume pot and the, the two volume pots and the five-way switch. And it is two volume pots because this switch right here will activate a piezo or piezo that is in the bridge here. It makes it sound very acoustic. And this is the uh, Kiesel Tremolo from Hipshot uh, for headless guitars. This thing is my most badass guitar uh, in all of my collection this one plays the best it's an amazing guitar let's hear how it sounds so let's start off by showcasing the piezo that's in here so we're going to turn on the acoustic elements and see how she sounds so it is a three position switch so down like it is now it's just the piezo pickup in the middle, you can blend the piezo which, with whichever pickup selection you want on the electric side. And then up is just the full pickups, the regular pickups by themselves. So here's just the acoustic element, and I'm going through the uh, archetype John Petrucci from Neural DSP, and it's on a patch called Beneath the Surface, which is a uh, John Petrucci uh, created patch, and it's using his acoustic amp. So it has a very acoustic, plugged in acoustic sound. So now I have, that was just the piezo. If I put it in the middle, I can blend it with any of the five positions switch. So here's the piezo blended with the neck pickup.
then there's just the neck pickup. Both. And then just the piezo. So it's pretty cool if you're doing like an acoustic gig <laughs> and you don't want to bring around a acoustic, toss this in the Kiesel head, head, uh, headless case. Holy crap, I had a stroke. And uh, yeah, nice light carry. So that's the piezo side. Let's go now to a clean patch of my own make. Uh, and let's just hear the uh, pickups. So these are Kiesel lithium pickups, which I love the sound of them. Uh, a lot of people swap them for some reason. I guess everybody's got their preference, but these pickups to me sound fantastic. So let's go through them. This is the bridge pickup clean. A lot louder than the piezo. I'm going to turn it down a little. second position which is actually it's still just the bridge but it's the inner coil and I think it's a tap not a split because if you take something like an allen wrench and you tap the coils so here's full bridge pickup that's the first coil that's the inside coil now if I put it in position two I still get a small signal from the outside coil and then the full signal from the inside coil. So I think it's a coil tap more than a coil split, uh, which means you still get a diminished outside coil. That's what I think they're doing on this. So here's that second position with the, uh, the tapped inner coil. position which is the tapped inner coils if I recall correctly so yep yep so it's the two inner coils from the neck and the bridge pickup <laughs> position is just that tapped inner coil of the neck pickup. a bridge pickup. <laughs> Thank you. 
Second position. is a little bit weird right now. Let's see, where am I? The majestic boom. One thing I have to complain about is the uh, volume knob on the Kiesel guitars, and I have a couple of them, and it's the same on, on all the Kiesels I've played. They're too stiff. Like, you have to pinch it to turn it. I like to be able to just use my pinky and switch it on and off, but man, you cannot with these Kiesel knobs. Uh, you have to use two fingers to get on it and turn it, which I'm not a big fan. I, if, if there's anything on here I want to change, it's that volume knob, and I might just do it, like order a, uh, a speed knob from uh, Seymour Duncan, one that moves with no problem. I can't turn this off with my pinky. Hard turn. It's a small complaint, but it's a complaint. pickup by the way. Position two is that hum. Single coils. Position three goes away because there's two of them now. Four, just this guy.
This is my Kiesel LM6, which I love, love, love. It's got a uh, swamp ash body. It's got a flame maple top with the Kiesel Racing Green California Burst to like a charcoal over a flame maple. Beautiful. Ebony fretboard. Jumbo stainless steel frets. It's got the green matching inlays. Walnut neck. It is killer. Oh, I never went over the trim. Let's do some tremolo work real quick before we uh, continue. And in case anybody spied it, I, uh, <laughs> I use modified picks nowadays where I take my favorite pick shape, whoops, is the uh, flow from uh, the Dunlop picks, Dunlop flow. Um, I like the one millimeter, but what I've done is I've taken a bunch of flow picks and just super glued them together so that the pick is super fat because I love the feel of big, big fat picks when I hold them, but I've never liked the feel of like these fat rounded tips. I don't like them. I don't like the way they sound. I don't like the way they feel. I like the way of a regular pick, but I like the stout feeling of a big thick pick. So what I've done is I glued a bunch together to make my own picks and they work really great and I love them. Uh, that's what I'm using in case anybody spied that in my last videos or whatever. Uh, but let's see how this tremolo works, shall we? And this is always scary to do live. <laughs> tuning pretty well um, and it's a very smooth tremolo as far as action goes I really like them and they get very good flutter effects too great track it works well it stays in tune I dig it you can't really mess with a hip shot those guys know what they're doing over there um, is it my favorite trim nope it's not my favorite locking trim is still the Ibanez uh, edge uh, my favorite trim in the world is the Vega trim uh, I love that thing but this thing works awesome as well it makes it a little weird when you're tuning because all you've got to tune with are these guys back here and anytime you put any pressure on it, it puts the string. You can hear the tuning change just by touching those guys. So when you're actually tuning, it makes it weird. You got to tune, let go, hit the string, uh, tune, let go, hit the string and see where you're at. It's not like on a regular headstock where you can just tune until it's right and let go. Uh, so you got it's a little bit finicky, but you get used to it. Overall, stunning, stunning guitar. Kiesel knows what the heck they're doing, man. These guitars are built perfectly. The fit and finish is unbeatable. Uh, the quality you get with a USA-made instrument, you pay for it, but man, it's worth every cent. Uh, even used, this was not cheap. So um, if you can get your hands on a Kiesel, do it because they are awesome. And uh, that's my LM6. Hope you enjoyed the little demo, and uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace!